Yeah! Elena, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What are they doing? This is so cool. The Vagabond and her crew left Antigua last week for the island of Nevis, stopping overnight at the magical island of Redonda. Here I should also probably make sure no one's forgotten about Riley's catch, which he's still very proud of. We made it to Nevis as the sun set. Reverse, huh? And this morning we woke up to this special view. So we're going to the markets to get some fresh fruit and veg. We don't need much, but yeah, we need a few things. And we're going to have a walk around Charleston, which is the main town here, which we haven't been to for years and years, so it'll be interesting to see if anything's changed. And how are you this morning, my man? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Practicing my beatbox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time that you have. Time that you Come on. So I didn't manage to get it on film, but um, back there, one of the guys approached us um, and he said that it was going to cost us for taking a video of the boat that's there on blocks. It probably isn't even his. He and pretty pissed. Yeah. He was drunk and he started off pretty serious and then Riley and I started laughing. We're like, come on, like we're smarter than that. <laughs> so he tried to charge us for taking a video of a boat. It's ridiculous. Well, to start with, this is Jack's. <laughs> And Charlie in the front. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's a friend Smoke of George. He's a gun spear fisherman who gave us the spot yesterday where we got the wahoo. And now he's giving me a nut which fits onto my bolt. What did we break? The head sail. Yeah. I found it broken the other day. So I sent him a message to see if he'd take us into the hardware store and he's rocked up with the correct size nut <laughs> so we're we've already done our job for the day so what are, what are we gonna do now what are we gonna do now mate we can go for a drive have you seen <laughs> the other side of the island um no, no. all right let's go around the island awesome okay. yeah Sweet, yeah man. thank all you right, cool. Driving around with this guy, I've never heard anyone talk about the ocean with such sincerity and with such an awe and respect as I did Charlie. So we're at an old sugar mill. Do you know when this stopped operating? 1954. 1954. I ate some raw sugar cane the other day, it was so good. Yeah. Wow. Out the way, Delkies. That sheep, hang on. Ah, sheep. Got it. So Charlie dropped us off and we found ourselves at a bar. Are you going to have a beer, Ross? He's not allowed to. <laughs> I did say I did not say he wasn't allowed to. He felt bad. So Shukran came to town with us, but he took the dinghy back to the mothership and said for us to message him on our phones when we wanted to be picked up from the beach. Charlie dropped us back off and neither of us brought our phones. So Riley just stripped off and he's swimming all the way back to the vagabond. 
so I feel very sorry for him. <laughs> that afternoon, we loaded up the dinghy with Wahoo fillets to deliver to all of the hungry cruisers in our anchorage. G'day guys, how you going? Good. We caught a massive wahoo yesterday. You got missed something wrong when you came over here. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thank you very much. No Cheers. Worries. No problem. Hello, we saw you at the bar before. Yeah. Are you in the there? Yeah. We are, yes. That's really nice fish. Like that, that's wahoo. Though. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you're very much guys. Not a problem. Thanks guys. See you guys. No worries. I mean, we're giving it away, so we're giving it away because we've, we've got too much. Too much? Yeah, we have so much fish. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Riley and I are going to try and walk up the volcano. Is it a volcano, Riley? Yep. And apparently it's really wet up there, so it's been raining the last few days. And there's supposed to be waterfalls or something. So everyone was saying... <laughs> there's not waterfalls. No, they said there would be some waterfalls. No, they said, bud, there's no waterfalls up there. Want to bet? Yeah. I think it's going to take us an hour and a half to get up if we don't get lost. So, Riley. Yeah. I was hoping you would realise, but we actually never climbed this mountain. We climbed the volcano at St. Eustatius, not this one. Oh, okay. But I've been thinking it was this one the whole time and now I realise we definitely, if this wasn't the volcano we climbed. <laughs> so, I do not know my way up and we probably will get lost. But it seems like a pretty well marked track for now. I'm half expecting to encounter my own self wielding a lightsaber in here, Elena. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, Elena. Yeah. You will be. You will be. I can hear water. Elena, don't go chasing waterfalls. There's a <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a setup. I can hear running water. It's a bloody waterfall, Kent. Getting a bit yeah. steep. It's starting to get really steep and muddy, so Riley suggested that. Maybe it's a good idea we turn around because there's definitely a chance I could slip going down there. So we're going to turn around, but it's been... I'm really happy with that walk so far. It's been awesome. Got a whole herd of wildlife here. We've even met some humans, Todd and David. Yeah, you've seen monkeys yet? No, there's monkeys oh my here. God, there's so many freaking monkeys. Really? I scraped the hole today. How dirty was it out of 10? Barnacly, and then and the little bits of fluff that was on there were quite difficult to get off. Like it didn't look really dirty, but it was quite hard to clean properly. Yeah. I did a probably seven out of 10. Good job. Mm -hmm. Just getting everything ready. I'm going spearfishing again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm nearly eating all the wahoo. So spearfishing again tomorrow, guys. Thrilled. We've got to eat. We're best friends with everyone at the Anchorage. Yep. He's really lucky. Um... We're very popular <laughs> here in, where are we? Nevis. Yeah, it's been very relaxing. We did that hike and um, met some cool people. And tomorrow we're heading off to St. Martin. So yeah, we want everything put away. We're probably going to tie down that boom properly because yeah, we've been lucky with the calm weather without just sitting there. Stefan's having a go at the drone. How you going there, Stefan? Not entirely sure. <laughs> oh man. Hear their wings? Oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> what are they doing? Making me dizzy? <laughs> I can see birds. I haven't seen your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> they are literally just running around our boat. Oh. This is so cool. 
We are just headed into town, aren't we, mate, to try and find some ice. We don't want to get a fish without ice again. Because the barracuda stink out my fridge and I'll get in trouble with it later. Hopefully they've got some. Hopefully they've got some. Success, boys. No. Was it difficult? No, but Riley forgot to film. You forgot to film, Riley. <laughs> Story of my life, guys. Uh, we're having a pizza night a, here on the Vagabond. So I'm just waiting for those pizzas to be done. And Riley's at the front of the boat doing his um, free diving breathing exercises, which takes 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go grab up on him. A little book recommendation for you. At the moment I'm reading the book Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I'm 95% done and I've heard of the Pacific Crest Trail before reading this book um, but now after nearly having finished it like I just really want to hike it. it. Sounds incredible like the landscape and the animals and it'll just be an incredible experience so if you have an adventurous soul I highly recommend the book Wild. Um, it was awesome. How's your breath holds? Good. I've been in touch with uh, Adam Freediver. So Adam now? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. How'd you go there? <laughs> I think he's Australia's best freediver or the world record holder or he's a gun anyway. But I'll put he's got a YouTube channel, which we will link in the description below, no doubt. Yeah, he's given me some charts to do. Which I don't think What do you mean by charts? Uh, CO two tables to okay to increase your CO2 tolerance. You set the timer for five minutes. Yeah. You hold your breath for as long as you can, and then you recover for the other period. And then you, once five minutes is up, you start again. So you hold your breath again, and then you recover. I'm pretty comfortable at around three minutes, and then when I'm trying, I can do four. Bueno. Plenty of room for improvement, but yeah, you increase pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. Last time, the uh, boat was getting blown by the wind in a different direction to that which I was drifting, us being separate. So this time I'm gonna throw a line off the back of the boat and get towed along by it. Um, so we're at least both going in the same direction. Then uh, if I see a fish, I'll let go and go and try and shoot it. We did give away um, all the wahoo in the fridge, but we've eaten so much over the last few days, it's time to get another one. Yeah. Well, see, thanks Elena, I know you're not stoked with it at the moment, but I love you. Okay. Yeah! I'm not even going to ask you how your day was, I'm going to apologise about getting you up so early. How's that? How's that? It sound? would have been fine. Getting me up that early, that's fine. I can deal with that. I just, um, unfortunately, I have fatigue at the moment. I've had it for the past few days. I had to Google it a few days ago to see what it was. And it's just, I've never felt this way before. I just feel like I could fall asleep. Like, I feel like walking from here to the back of the boat, like after that, I just want to go to sleep. So, it's been a very long day for me, but I definitely had worse. How's your day been, Stefan? Good. I'm a bit tired. We started pretty early. Yeah. I'm good. What are you listening to? Uh, German rap music. Really? Yeah. German rap music? Yeah. <laughs> a shark ate it. No way. Yeah. No. No. A shark ate the whatever it was. 
We were too slow. We are nearly arriving in St. Martin. It's been a pretty boring trip. Apart from we just hooked probably a Mahi Mahi. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, it, well, I know a shark ate something. I'm not sure if it's a, it was a Mahi Mahi or not. But yeah, the line went slack and this big just gray beast just came out of the water like that. It, it looked pretty awesome. Stefan's listening to German rap music and I really want to hear what it sounds like. Can I listen to some? <laughs> so we're coming into our anchorage now and um, I, we heard that St. Martin was pretty um, messed up from the hurricane so it'll be interesting to see what St. Martin looks like. 